I don't know if this is jumping too far ahead, but at the ending, I noticed that when all of them come out of out of the woodwork and they start shooting, every single one of them have mm-hmm. a shot towards this guy. Mm-hmm. And it reminded me of Julius Caesar. Why? Well, because Caesar dies by all, everyone turning on him and they all stab him. So it's like a group effort thing and it's not just Dalton finishing the job on him. Yeah. It's the whole entire town. Yeah. Collectively, what was rep- represented by these shop owners all had a stab at him. Yeah, I like it because it's it's that triumphant ending where it's it's really not Dalton's fight. Dalton gets hired and so at the end it shows that you know, in the end, it's not really Dalton's fight. Like, he's really not being affected by the, what's happening to the town. It's all these other business owners that are getting affected by this one dude. So, at the end, it's not Dalton getting the victory because we want Dalton to win. But if he were to be the one to finish the job, it's not as much of a big payoff because we haven't seen Dalton really get abused and, and betrayed and beat up by Wesley because we know Dalton can handle himself. It's we're watching... Wesley bully all the other people and Dalton trying to stick up for him. So at the very end, you get to see the entire group of people that have been bullied by this one man get to chop him down. Yeah, and it kind of shows them, it's almost them giving it back to him, all that he's helped them in the town. Because if he didn't stumble upon that town, Brad Wesley would have taken every single thing from everybody. you know. But he kind of was the catalyst to turn the tide. And he kept on fighting and he kept on coming back. So I felt like those shop owners, that was kind of their way or those business owners were that way of like showing that they had his back when he had theirs and he didn't have to. Mm -hmm. Um, Because also if the cops would have showed up and it was just him, that's a one way ticket, you know. Mm -hmm. But when all of them are there and they've all been in the town forever, too, that's a credible source to the sheriff. When he like went up to them, like he's their friend. He's like, all right, anyone want to tell me what happened here? And they were all able to, you know, kind of get him off their trail. But if he walked up and there's a huge like rich guy that's dead and it's only Dalton there that's not from the town. Mm -hmm. He's an outsider. Yeah. Yeah. That's immediately locked up. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good ending. It's a good triumphant ending. It just kind of pays you exactly what you're looking for. And the movie's, it's not like an extremely well-made movie. There's a lot of stuff. It's not like a bad-made movie in all reality, but they no, don't- No, I think it was really good for the time. They don't set up a lot of the problems and stuff. It's all very basic, I think, the way they lead stuff on, and you just kind of just, it's not like a deeply integrated movie with, you know, the way they lead things and foreshadow things and, and weave the story together. It's kind of just, kind of just goes along very simply. But I mean, that's what you're looking for with this movie. You know, it's just, that's what makes it so good. It's just kind of just a lo- laid back, fun movie to watch that's not too deep. 